Welcome to City Rock. This movie is designed to introduce you to our gym and the rules we have in place. Remember, climbing is a dangerous sport and ultimately your safety is your responsibility. Let's take a tour of the facility. Now that we have your attention, let's go over a few things to help maximize fun and minimize risk. Auto belays. An auto belay is a device that takes up the slack as you climb and lowers you when you let go of the wall. After this video, you'll need to have a staff member check you out. He or she will want to see that your harness is on correctly and make sure you're comfortable using the auto belays. Remember the ABCs of auto belay. A. Attach. The carabiner is auto-locking. To open it, you'll slide, twist, and squeeze. When you let go, it should lock automatically. B. Buddy check. When climbing with a partner, you always do a buddy check before getting on the wall. With auto belays, you're on your own. Remember to always check that your harness is high and tight above your hips, your carabiner is locked, and your auto belay webbing is pulling upward. Before you climb, ask someone to do your buddy check, even if it's an invisible friend. Don't skip this step. Buddy check before you climb. C. Climb. Once you've attached and done a buddy check, you're ready to climb. Get in the habit of protecting yourself. Every time you see one of these signs, give your carabiner a squeeze. When you're ready to come down, make sure you're clipped in and look below you for anyone climbing underneath. Once on the ground, clip the carabiner back to the gate. Remember the ABCs. Attach, buddy check, climb. Things that can go wrong. Make sure you clip in before climbing. You might think we're joking, but this is actually the number one cause of auto belay accidents around the country, and they're serious accidents. People have broken their backs, legs, even died. So don't let this happen to you. Clip in before you climb. Make sure your climb ends at the correct anchor or else you will swing. Don't climb if there's slack in the webbing. Don't try to grab at the wall on your way down. If you fall, come all the way down. Avoid tying the ropes up before you climb. You're more likely to get tangled in them. Ropes. Those without a City Rock Belay certification can boulder, use the auto belays, or rope climb with a certified belayer. If you'd like to learn how to belay, and you should, you can sign up for the next class at the Beta Center. If you already know how to belay, please ask about a City Rock certification after this video. All our climbing walls have both ropes and auto belays available for climbers of any ability level. Our shorter walls are a great place to start if you're looking for easier climbs, but because we use the upper deck for instruction, please be respectful of classes and sessions. Things to remember in the rope climbing area. Practice good climbing etiquette. Look around before getting on a route and communicate with those around you. Sometimes people are waiting politely in the background. Please don't swing on the ropes. No swinging of the ropes. Remember, if you take out someone's eye, you have to give them one of yours. Bouldering. Our designated bouldering area has thicker floor padding because if you fall, you'll hit the ground. Please don't go any higher than you are comfortable falling. When you get to the top, you can climb down the same way you went up or look for the friendly gray holes. Here are some things to remember. Bouldering has the highest rate of injury in our gym, so we don't recommend it for children under age six. To minimize risk, practice lower down until you're comfortable falling. Make sure your landing zone is clear of all people and objects. Spot your landing, relax, drop, and roll. Things that could go wrong. Remember to look up. Don't walk or climb under another climber. The area around the bouldering wall is for active climbers only. Please stay off the mats unless you're climbing. Children ages 5 and under are not allowed on the bouldering floor during peak hours. We do allow children ages 6 to 10, but they must be within an arm's reach of a parent or supervisor at all times. We don't want them getting squished. Amenities. These are some of the great amenities we have here at City Rock. Yoga, fitness, and training. We offer cardio, weight equipment, foam rollers, and bands for those looking for classes or ways to supplement their fitness and mobility. Climarium. The Climarium is reserved for children ages 6 and under. Hours are limited due to classes and camps, so please check the schedule for open climbing times. Cave. Our highly realistic cave system is recommended for ages 6 to adults. You must have a partner with you. Caves are better with friends. Ask the Beta Center for a Cave Pass add-on. As we wrap up our tour, here are a few more things to remember. Parents are responsible for their children at all times. Unsupervised and unruly children will be asked to sit out. No running, screaming, horseplay, or doing anything that could potentially harm yourself or others. 
please reserve the use of the elevator for people unable to take the stairs. Take a moment to remove any rings. They could get caught on climbing holds, and we don't want you to leave your fingers in the gym. Closed toe shoes are required. Please do not climb barefoot. Remove cell phones and all other objects from your pockets before climbing. If you must listen to your own music, only use one headphone. We need to be able to communicate with you at all times. Put your valuables in a secure location. Cubbies are located throughout the gym, or you can ask the beta center for a lock. Remember, climbing is dangerous and you are responsible for your own safety and that of any minors in your care. We do our best to stay on top of the latest climbing techniques and safety information. Please use us as a resource. We're here to help. Thank you for watching. Let a staff member know you're done and have a great time.